But like, you know, I'm so hard on myself and I'm not trying to be in 2020. They are going to send me to an ear, nose, and throat doctor because the dude from work ever throw you off. Like I'm one of those people that I vibe off of other people's kind of emotions and especially somebody I live with. Yeah, really bad turbo. Choppers on deck. Everything is on the man. You want to check, but you got to have a plan. What's up, y'all? What is going on? I got energy today. That's why I'm screaming at y'all. So take it. Take this energy. <laughs> So I'm on my way this morning to go. It's actually not morning. Come on. Feels like it because I slept late today. But I'm actually on my way right now to go to this preliminary visit. This doctor's office. Um, I have like a, they're doing two different things. They're doing like a, uh, a breathing study. And then it's a part two. I don't know. I forgot what the second half is, but yeah. We here, we're trying to move. I got a whole bunch of stuff on my plate. Y'all remember when um, I was dealing with all that stuff a few months ago with um, my baby's father, my ex-husband, um, he, okay, so for y'all that don't know the backstory, me and this dude literally um, have always been like co-parents. I never took him to court and he just stopped seeing the kids and wouldn't even come by to see them at all. So then I ended up uh, filing an abandonment warrant on him. And then when I did the abandonment warrant, he just turned into a total jerk and was just like, whatever. And just started being even more disrespectful and whatever. So he needs to say in two years, he hasn't paid any type of child support. Well, they were hounding me to get this paperwork filled out so, um, in order for him to stay out of jail from what I found, they made him sign up with child support. So, here we are, a whole two and a half years later. Still no money from this man. And um, I filled out and signed and notarized everything that they wanted me to do on my end. And I am still waiting to hear something back. They told me that they went ahead and they, you know, they received your paperwork, but there's nothing else of the case. There's no cards being issued. There's like, where's the payment? So you guys are like, where is it at? So what are you doing? So again, harassing me and then still just doesn't get anything done. So yeah, whatevs. I'm about to just continue driving and listen to some music so I can clear my brain and uh, think about some things and a lot of cops on the road today so let me focus doing this breathing treatment and um, then I had to get on this nebulizer machine and suck it in and then breathe it's supposed to show how well my lungs are or something so we're about to go over the results and I'm kind of excited to know if they're okay like what they found what they saw I don't really know so that's all. And then I can go. Finally. I'm going to leave here and I'm going to go to Walmart and buy me a full mirror. Because I feel like, you know, I'm so hard on myself. And Come on. I'm not trying to be in 2020. Because I work too damn hard on myself. So I want to enjoy myself a little bit. And I need a mirror. I want to be able to see my body from head to toe. And I think it will help me. Along the way, should I sign? 
So I'm at Walmart. I'm looking for that mirror that I was just telling you guys about before I go home. I'm still not on my side yet. Where would you find a mirror? Where would a mirror be at? Um, the doctor, everything went well. The test went okay. Um, my lungs look really well. They are going to send me to an ear, nose, and throat doctor because he's saying that it's something deeper going on backwards that they're not getting to. He's going to send me over there to get tested out. So I have to, I have to make an appointment and um, have to make an appointment in a week. So I'll let you guys know about that one. Where are the mirrors? Mirrors. So yeah. Hey, mama. Hey, see, I'm practicing already. Let me find me a good mirror, y'all. This is the one that I want. Because it's like really big and tall. 27 by 70. I don't know if I want to pay 55 for it, though. But you can see my whole body. <laughs> and then tell me why the only one that says no tools required has a freaking whole crack in the mirror. Look at it. Hold on right there. Wait, you can't even see it from here. It's right there, though. <gasps> it's a crack going all the way across the mirror. And there's the only one left. And it's $17. I would have got it, but, like, I don't know what else to do. Because, like, this one's $13, but I can't even mount it. I have to buy it separately. So I was going to just buy the one for $17. But, um, yeah. Goodness. Struggles. So I'm finally home, me and dad pulled in, not the same time, I backed in and he pulled in about two minutes later, I was still sitting in the car though, so I'm about to get dinner ready and probably shower and relax and whatnot, thanks for going on my trip with me and going to Walmart with me as well and um, you know, seeing about your girl at the doctor, so I appreciate you guys always rocking with me, I love you all. I cannot stand when, like, y'all let me know if y'all partners ever do this. Your hubby ever come home. And, like, the dude from work ever throw you off. Like, I'm one of those people that I vibe off of other people's kind of emotions. And especially somebody I live with. So, if I'm all happy in a giddy mood and you're not, <laughs> it will affect me. It will, and it's really draining. I hate that. I hate when that happens, but uh, don't let the stress of your work day come home with you because it affects your family. It really does. And I just end up taking it and not saying anything. And then, yeah, it consumes my world. So I freaking hate it. If y'all know what I'm talking about, leave me a comment. You know, how do you deal with that? How do you deal with like the day after coming home and your spouse and issues and whatnot? But yeah, yeah. Anyway, but y'all have a great evening. Like I said, I'm I'm not gonna keep y'all any longer. Um, I don't even want to be here any longer. So toodles. We'll see you tomorrow. Run up me.